hey welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hi my, my name is erica and today i'm going to do a little update on the julie joe aaron b's and sarah jean situation so if you well be I just made this video to clear things up, to admit that, yes, I, I was wrong about multiple things, and I'm sorry for, for that, which is why I wanted to do a correction video, because I never want to be the type of person who spreads misinformation, well, whether knowingly or unknowingly, which is why when I do it unknowingly, which whenever I spread misinformation, please trust it's unknowingly. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna put out information I know to be false, but when I do do that, I feel it's necessary to make a correction because that's just the right thing to do. Before I even head into this, I just want to give a big disclaimer that if the people who have allegedly been harassing and doxing, I can't say that word on YouTube, sorry, uh, um, the, the people who have allegedly been do doing that try to come after me, please do not do that. Please do not go after any of the people mentioned in this video. Please stop, just stop trying to intimidate people, stop trying to destroy their lives, just don't do that. Be a decent person, and if you have commentary, do that, make commentary videos, but do not put out their personal information, do not incessantly contact them, do not try to find their relatives or their real life friends don't do that. that 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 is taking things real life which is a boundary you should not cross on youtube so i just wanted to get that out of the way that if there are going to be those people who are going to watch this video and use this as ammunition to go after any of the creators in this video, you who do not have my consent to do that. In fact, I am telling you not to do that. This is not a, a, a joke to me. I do not want that to happen. And yes, I'm getting heated right now because that is something I take very seriously. So if you are going to use this video as you are like in to start doing that again or to recruit more people to do that? No. So now that we got that serious disclaimer out of the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about on Friday, I, re I released a, a video which has since been unlisted about this situation. I will put the link in this video in case you do want to watch it just for like full transparency i i did remove part of it where i said that julie joe and aaron b's are codependent just because i didn't really think it was appropriate to use such a dramatic word so in full transparency i removed those parts but I, I will um de demonetize it because i feel like it's kind of sketchy to unlist a video and then make my money off of it i don't know that's just me maybe it's just a me thing i don't know but so to give a low down of that video i talked about how Sarah Jean had commented on one of Julie Joe's posts celebrating a milestone on her channel 
since Sarah Jean wrote, I have 55 subscribers if you would like to subscribe to another channel who does anti-MLM content, please subscribe to her minor, something along those lines. I, I'm paraphrasing here, but and then that started a big feud between her and Julie Joe and Aaron Bees, which, which went on for far longer than it should have. And I believe Julie Joe, in posting about it and trying to make an example out of her gene, even in blocking out her name, I do believe that was wrong. But I also believe Sarah Jean was wrong in she did a few things like you're not really supposed to self-promote on other people's channels, which is something I went into in that video. So if you, you want to know more about that, then watch that one. It's going to be linked in the description. I may also put some clips in this video. I don't know. It depends when I'm editing this if I decide that it's necessary or not. But um, one of the things I got wrong in the video is I said Sarah Jean did not dock Julie Joe, which I have since learned that that is not the case. Apparently, her gene shared personal information about Julie Joe. Now, I do not know the exact context it was in. I do not know if she shared it publicly or privately. It doesn't really matter. It's not. It's not appropriate to share people's public information. Well, I mean people's private information. But I I think Sarah Jean has since realized that and she apologized for that. So I'm not going to preach about that here because I feel like that is overkill. But one of the things that this situation has taught me, well, me, this situation, every situation teaches me a lot of things. But well, one of them is don't assume things if you don't know. Because I did assume quite a lot in that video, which is why I unlisted it. And I kind of assumed the worst in people, which I probably should. Well, no, not probably. I, I shouldn't assume the worst in people. But another thing I realized, which has since come to my attention is recently, and this is something that has been apologized for. So please don't go at these creators saying they need to apologize to me. Even the one Aaron Bees and Julie Joe made a live stream where they briefly talked about my video and they were making jokes about how I exposed them and guys yes hashtag exposed <laughs> who, who said that you see we're exposed oh my god I love you guys so much happy Friday everybody how eat us chicken fajitas oh, I got a steak bowl oh my god we really are codependent Jen <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for it, like, right off the bat. Well, so I'm just going to throw it all in there. Janet, we're going to... We're going to need to change this, friend. Okay? I'm going to need you to, to, to try it. If it's available... It should be available in your area. McDonald's and Arby's? Yeah. Love that. Five Guys? I love Five Guys. Spaghetti from the garden that I froze. Oh my god, yes, Jessica. And they lumped me in with a creator on this platform who I'm not going to name, by the way, because if you name her, she's like, she's like Beetlejuice. If you say her name, she might pop up. And I, uh, I would rather that not happen. No shade to this person 
who this person just... If you want to make commentary videos, do that. But don't pretend you're exposing people or or dox people or harass people. Put out, put out actual commentary videos, which I don't believe this person does. But anyway, so I was lumped in with that person, which I did not appreciate because I take that behavior very seriously and I do not engage in that behavior. And when I make mistakes, I try my best to correct them. But Julie Jo has actually apologized to me about that, which I do appreciate. I have respect for Julie Jo for doing that, but I still stand by what I said about Aaron B's kind of acting like Julie Joe's like bodyguard. Anybody who goes after Julie Joe has to get through Aaron B's, which number one is ex extremely intimidating to creators. Number two, it's not necessary. Julie Joe's an adult. She can fend for herself. Trust me, and I realized this past year has been very difficult for her, and I'm not going to deny that, but she does not need Erin B's to be her bodyguard or her mother. And it's really... I, I don't know, it's really... It feels like you're being cornered by a bunch of people, even when it's just two. But really... Um, the one who really, I think, is the big problem in this situation, besides the creator who we're not going to name, who is harassing and allegedly doxing a bunch of anti-MLM creators, is Erin B's. And the reason I say that is because I still stand by what I said about her preaching to people and being condescending towards people. She said, she talked, in my opinion, she talked down to me in DMs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna publish private messages. I'm not here to expose people. I'm not here to ruin people. No, I'm here for commentary. And I don't think releasing private messages is a very good way to do commentary. So, so. To everybody watching, don't worry, I'm not, may, maybe other people in the anti-MLM community do that, which I've seen a lot of people in the last week do that, which makes me side-eye them. Like that woman, Karina, she, she's done that, and it's just not necessary. It's just catty, and it's spreading drama. It's not actual commentary. In my opinion, you may disagree, and that's fine. But I just wanted to say that I stand by my statement about Erin B's being condescending. And, and that was one of the things. She didn't actually watch my video, which she made it clear in some of the things she said to me. But I really... Like, the part where I said, please don't preach to be, I wanted that to be a main part. So that's why it's a main part in this video, is preaching to people and making them feel like they're stupid or less than is never an effective way to get your point across, really, in, in my opinion. And yeah, so that is the end of this video. If you learned something, if you appreciated it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe. I feel like a lot of anti-MLM creators are used to talking down to people, to, to trying to rationalize things to people that do irrational things, which can be talking down. Oh, at times, so I think when they have to have a real conversation with with a, a person who's on the same page as them, they're not always capable of doing that.
subscribe button and again so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope 